Hi guys, I'm going to do a bar style class today because we're going to miss out on Wednesday. If you have not taken a bar class, a bar style class, it's a combination of Pilates, some ballet bar exercises, a little bit of yoga, but primarily um, stabilizing musculature. So the same rules apply as is in any exercise class. You want to make sure that you're working in your own capacity. If you feel any joint pain, then that exercise is not necessarily right for you. So what we want to do, we want to make some changes if you feel any joint pain. So if your shoulders are out long and you're feeling pain in the shoulders, you're going to shorten your lever and you're going to get rid of the weights. Um, the same thing with the knees, you're going to make sure if you're squatting and you're feeling it in your knees, you're just not squatting as low and you really want to push in your heels as you come on up. So make sure to take care of your joints. The point of the bar style class is that you're really going to feel some burn and shaking in the bigger muscles. Today we're going to use a chair and small weights. I have three pounds, but you can do this without weights perfectly easily as well. So don't worry about not having any equipment. If you don't have anything around, that's fine. If you want to use some weights, go to your pantry. You probably have a bag of beans or a can of soup or a bottle of water that will work for you. So let's go ahead and get warmed up. Take a deep breath in. Flex your palms and blow it up. Do it again. Up. Flex your palms and blow it out. One more time. This time, you're going to tuck and roll. You're going to tuck your chin and just roll all the way down. Bend your knees, roll all the way up. Tuck and roll. Bend your knees, roll all the way up. One more time, just like that. Tuck and roll. Bend your knees, roll all the way up. This time, we're going to change it up. So you're going to tuck and roll all the way down. Bend your knees if you have to to get your hands on the floor and you're going to walk out to plank. Keeping your heels down as long as you can. Hold that plank for a moment and then walk back. Press your heels down as soon as you can. Bend your knees. Roll all the way up. Do that again. Tuck and roll. Walk all the way out. Going through that down dog here. Finding a nice solid plank and then pushing yourself back. Two more times. Always take your pace. Off you go. Down. And then back. Roll all the way up, take a deep breath in, and blow it out. So go ahead and take your feet out a little bit wider, um, just about hip width, width, hip width distance. Turn your toes out a little bit, sit back in that squat, make them small for now. Lift those arms. So down and up, down. This is where I want you to check in with your knees, making sure you're sending your hips back. Pushing in your heels as you come on up. Eight more. <clears throat> Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. This last one you're going to hold just for a moment. Roll those shoulders back and down. Pull those arms out long in front of you. And just kind of pulse those hips down. Making sure you're protecting the knees, hips are going back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it down, lift your heels, lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. This last time, hold those heels up if you can, and then just pulse down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
to straighten your legs, try to keep those heels up, and balance. And then down you go. Take those feet out a little bit wider, turn them out of the hip. Same thing down, we're gonna squat and lift. Tailbone's going straight down this time. Try to make your arm movement a little bit bigger. Push forward, pull back, push, pull. Eight. Let's change the arms this time. So we're gonna go up and back, up and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Anchor your arms, we're gonna change the feet. Down and pull, down and pull. Really drag that foot, use your inner thigh. Down and pull, down, pull. So when you pull back, pull your elbows into your ribs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it out, arms are out to the side, pulse down. What's that? You're not cold anymore? Not cold anymore. <laughs> Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So we're going to squat down and pull. Really drag that foot, use the inner thigh, then squeeze the legs together at the top. Down, pull, down. And the shoulder blade. So palms back, palms up, back, and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Anchor your arms right at your hips. Lift your right, then your left. Right, left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now go both. Here you go. Up and down. Eight more. You should be a little shaky. Six, five, four, Three, two, hold it up if you can, and pulse up, butt down. Hold and relax. Just go ahead and shake those legs out a little bit. You should be a little bit warmer. Okay, so feet are out wide, hands are on your thighs. Push that tailbone back, nice long spine here. Drop one shoulder down through the middle and get a nice, easy stretch in. Center yourself up, kind of do some standing cat-cow. So chin down, tail down, head down, chin up, chest up, tail. It's kind of rolling through that spine a little bit. Good. Center it up, pull in the belly, make sure that twist is back, and rotate the other way. Stretching right in the middle of your back. Good. 
center up, just roll all the way up, take a deep breath in, and then blow it out. So, we're going to do some lateral lunging now. So with the lateral lunges, we want to make sure that we sit back in the heel, so I can pick my toes up, and my, my butt is going back, my back is flat. And then we'll switch sides. Good, so just go through that a couple times. Back is flat, hips are going back. Back. So if you feel this in your knees, you stay higher. You don't go down as well. Try taking a wider stance as well. Good. Let's make this a little bigger. Reach, 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 reach. Good. So I'm reaching down, and I'm going to reach back with the other arm. Good. Pushing in the heel to push myself back up through the middle. Now take the arms out, out. So you have that long spine. We can keep going this pace, but I want you to see we have a long spine and we're reaching out, we're using our core to make that happen. <laughs> there we go. Good. Setting back in the hips. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. So we're going to hold it on this side. Turn both sets, both toes, both feet to the same direction. Drop down into a crescent lunge, putting your fingertips on the floor. Taking a deep breath, try to get your chest up off of your thighs, spine is long. Pushing back in the back heel, down in the front, get a good stretch in that hip flexor. Take a deep breath in. If you want, let your fingers float up off of the floor. Now bring that chest up. Arms are up. A little more work in the front leg now. You're going to bend slightly the back leg and straighten. Bend and straighten. Small bends. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it down. Find that hip flexor stretch. Get those hands on the floor and find plank. So we're going to do a push up from here. I'm going to put my knees down. I want my shoulders back and down. I'm going to send my elbows back. And straighten up. Down, Samantha's going long lever. Both are fine. If you feel this in your shoulders, or if it's too difficult, shorten your lever. Good job. Hold your plank. Nice long spine. Lift your left leg. Set it down. Lift your right. Switch. Switch. One more time. How you doing? Good. Okay. <laughs> Hold your plank. Now walk through down dog. Hold the down dog here for a Push back with the hands, down with the heels, up with the tail. Get a good stretch. Good. 
Walk your hands to your feet and slowly roll it on up. Face front again, lateral lunges. Butt back, belly tight, arms long. Too much again? Right here is fine. Okay? You should really be pushing in this heel as you come up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now turn the other direction. Finding that low lunge for me all the way down. Good. So checking the alignment on the front leg, making sure the knee is above the ankle. If it's not, take a bigger stance. Pushing back in your back heel, down in your front, shoulders back and down. Lift your fingers up off of the floor. Hang out. And bring your chest up. Hang out. So bend and straighten the back leg. Small bend. Push hard in the front heel. Good. Four more. Three, two, hold it for a moment. Down you go. Low lunge. Now find plank. Knees down if you want. More push ups. Hold your plank. Lift one leg and switch. Keeping your hips level. Good. Hold your plank. Walk to down dog and give me that stretch. your hands to your feet and roll all the way up. You should be warmer. Feel like you're a little out of breath. I am. <laughs> Let's do some bar style burpees just for a little more heart rate work and then we'll grab our weights. So a bar style burpee. My legs are turned out at the hip. I'm going to reach up. I'm going to come down into this squat here where I'm nice and tall. I'm going to put my hands down on the floor, take one leg out, the other leg out, bring it in, bring it in, hold here, press up. A couple more times. Try to alternate the lead if you can. Good. Take your pace. Go as fast as you want. We're going to do these for a minute. Go. Form matters. Belly tight. You're going through plank every time. Now, if you feel like it, you can do a little hop here. Not necessary. Pushing in those legs as you come up. the shoulders, making sure that's feeling good. You have about 15 seconds.
and rest. <laughs> good job. This is a good stretch for those hips. Go ahead and do this if you'd like. Take a breath. When you're ready, I'm going to ask you to grab your small weights if you're using them. <coughs> okay. We're going to be in chair squat. So our feet are hip distance, belly's tight, feet are parallel, and we're going to squat on down. Back is long, belly is tight. So again, changing your levers. If you're able to go way down, fine. If you're not, up here is perfectly fine as well. Holding that chair squat, arms behind you, lift, lift. You should feel this in your triceps, the back of your arms. Good. Keep lifting, small lifts. If you need more work, drop your butt a little bit more. Belly tight. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it down. Hold the arms up. And you're going to act like you're going to clap your hands. So press. Take them away. Press. Open. Squeeze the palms. Open up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now really clap fast. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And relax. Just roll up for a second. Roll through those shoulders. So, right foot front, left foot back. Really nice lunge position. Knee right over the ankle, hips squared up. So we're gonna start with the legs. We're gonna lunge and come up. I'm pushing in the front heel. Good. I'm gonna bring my weight to my shoulders and I'm gonna pitch my hips, my chest just a little bit forward. Hinging at the hip. Good. Extend and bend. Pull in the belly. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more set. Two more. Hold it back. And then relax your hands down to the floor. Long spine. We're going to do a standing split. So you could even take your weights up this way if you want your if you want the floor closer to you. So you're going to squat down and lift. Tuck the knee behind you, touch the calf, and then lift. Like a standing curtsy lunge here. Each time, get the back leg straighter. Eight of these. Seven. Your standing leg should be working. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Okay, hold that knee in. Leave the weights on the floor and bring your chest up. Four, three, two, and relax. Shake that out a little bit. We'll stretch that in a few. Change legs. Okay? So, anchor the arms. Get a good lunge going here. Hips are square, good alignment, down and up. So I'm driving that back knee 
to the floor. This time, we're gonna push, pull, push, pull. So, shoulder problems, put the weights down, or go shorter, or both. Good. Hold it down. Put your hands on the floor. Stand in splits. So lift the leg and bend the knee, touching the calf. Standing curtsy lunge here. You should really be feeling this in that standing leg. Last time, pull that knee in. Bring your chest up. Hold it. Four, three, two, and relax. All right, go ahead and grab a chair. And just use it to sit for a moment. And let's stretch those hips just for a second. Fourfold. cardio in, a lot of leg work in. We're going to move on to arm work. I have a little more leg work and then some ab work. And switch sides. <clears throat> so when we do our arm work, we're going to be careful that um, our legs and our core are engaged when we do this in standing. So go ahead and stand on up. Keep your chair handy, but just move it out of your way. Grab your small weights. You're going to get into a first position here. Nice V stance. I want you to squeeze your legs together as tight as you can. Belly in, shoulders back. So we're going to do side lateral raises. Thumb up, okay? So lift and lower. This is where modifications are gonna be handy. You can keep the arms bent. You can get rid of the weights. A lot of things you can do here. Making sure it feels good in the shoulder joints. Light weights, a lot of repetitions. Pull in the belly. Really focus on those legs, squeezing those legs. Four more, then we're going to change it up. Three, two, pull those arms up. Now you're going to cross in the front, right over left, open, left over right. Open. So what we want to do in this exercise is making sure that we're not moving our chest or our trunk. We're just moving our arms. So really control your trunk with your abdominal wall. Don't let it move. Rest those arms just for a moment. Roll through those shoulders. We're going to combine those two movements. So up, across, open, and down. Up, across, open, and down. Up, across, open, down. Squeeze the legs. One 
one more time each side because I'm alternating which hand is going on the top. And then rest. Roll through those shoulders. <coughs> Frontal raise now. So if we're going to do both together, again, contract your belly, contract your glutes. Really get those legs nice and firm. So up and down. Up and down. Up. Try not to move through the trunk. If you find you're not able to do that, put your weights down or get something lighter. Hold this one up. Now bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Keep going. I'm changing my weights. I want to finish this set strong. Those were threes. These are twos. Nothing wrong with making that change. Four more. Three. Two. Last time, go ahead and put those weights down for a second, roll through the shoulders, and we're going to combine the two. That's going to be a frontal raise and an elevated bicep curl. Ready? Here we go. Up, curl, extend, down. Lift, curl, extend, down. Four, three, make sure you're pushing it down too, not just letting it go, two, last time, you're going to hold it on up, fists are towards the ceiling, and you're just going to punch, 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 eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, relax your arms, roll through the shoulders. So what we're going to do next is a classic Pilates upper body movement called boxing. We're going to do it in a little bit different way um, than I'm going to demonstrate, but let me show you what's going to happen with the arms. The arms are going to start and stop here. One goes up, one goes back. And then you come back through, palms facing the shoulders. Back palms facing the shoulders. So the back arm looks like this, pushing back and then coming back to the shoulders. Okay, nice and controlled. The way we make this a little more challenging is to get in this nice Pilates V, squeeze the legs, squeeze the bum, squeeze the abs, and now let's hinge at the hip. So depending on how you feel, or how strong you feel in the back, if this bothers your back, you're farther up. If you feel like you can go a little bit further, you're gonna come all the way down here. Arms are gonna do exactly the same thing regardless of your body position. Belly is tight, squeeze everything. So you're gonna push out and back, or up and back. Taking your time Really feeling the arms extend super long here. How's that going? Looks good. Feel more. Really refocus legs and belly. more time each side. Good. And then just hands on the hips, 
relax the shoulders and curl on up. Go ahead and set those weights down. <coughs> Take an arm across. Take a look at that shoulder. Give it a good stretch. Give it a nice tricep stretch. And then across. So now we're going to use our chair as if it were a bar. And we're going to work in a few different leg positions. So we're going to start with a standard squat so your feet are slightly turned out, hip width apart. And we're just going to squat down and up, down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, does not have to be deep, three, two, changing it up. So next time you're going to squat down and pulse twice. Squat, pulse, one, two, and up. Pulse, 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 two, and up, pulse, two, and up, pulse, two, up, pulse, two, make sure you're pushing back, pulse, two, this time just down and pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, fold it down, lift your heels and pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two heels down, pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Two pulse and up. So pulse one, two, and up. One, two, and up. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two, up. One. Two, up. One, Two up, one, two, one more. Down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last time, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax. I'm going to change my chair to the other side. Turning out of the hip, I'm going to take a wider stance. Tailbone's going straight down. Same series. So down and up. Down and up. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Next time it's a pulse two on the bottom, pulse two and up, pulse two and up, pulse two and up, pulse two up, pulse two up, pulse two, up. Pulse two. one more. Here we go, down and pulse, eight, seven, Six, five, four, squeeze hard. Two, hold it down, lift the heels, pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, heels down, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pulse and up. Pulse, two, and up. Pulse, two, that up feels good. Pulse, two, Squeeze up, pulse, two, and up, pulse, two, and up, pulse, two, and up, pulse, two, up, pulse, two, one more, down and up, here we go, down, up, down, up, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, hold it down. Just hold. Four, three, two, and off you go. Just take a short breather. Did you guys miss Marie? <laughs> Hopefully your legs felt like they were trembling a little bit. So facing the chair, if the chair feels too low for you, the kitchen counter is perfect, right? So we're going to go back to that first position. Heels squeezed super hard, butt tight, thighs tight, belly tight. We're going to bend our knees. Knees are going to go out. So just a little plie. Push in, heels and come up. Eight. It's going to seem familiar. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Pulse two on the bottom. Say pulse two. Squeeze up. Pulse two. Squeeze up. Pulse two. If you can, let go of the chair. That's okay. If you can't, that's all right too. So if your legs are a little shaky, that's perfect. One more. All the way down and pulse. Keep pulsing. So when you're pulsing here, I want you to be pushing out on the inner thighs as well. All right, lift your heels. Pulse on the bottom. Push your inner thighs out. Push your heels down, pulse. Push your thighs out. Pulse two and up. Pulse two, up. Pulse two, up. Pulse two, up. Pulse, don't forget that squeeze. Single it out. Here we go. Down, up. Move your arms if you want. Keep them if, where they are if you want to. Four, three, two. So hold this one down. I'm going to touch my chair. I'm going to challenge my balance a little. I'm going to lift my heels and I'm going to squeeze them together super hard. Bend my knees. I'm going to turn forward so you can see what I'm doing here. Bending my knees, squeezing the heels, and I'm going to push my knees back, back, back. Working inner thighs. Eight, squeeze your bum. Six, five, four, three. Let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Take in a deep breath. Blow it out. One more time. And go get your mats. Well, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. tight. So way back in the day when I first started teaching exercise, they used to tell us to push our low back into the floor. That's not necessarily what we want to do. We want to make sure we continue to keep a neutral spine. So there's going to be a little space under your low back. Everybody's going to look a little different that way. But I want you to really think about contracting your entire abdominal wall. So just do that for a second. The way we really are able to work our abdominal wall in these positions is by controlling our hips from moving side to side as we move our limbs. So push the belly down, reach up, get your hands behind your head. Before you do anything, I want you to push your head into your hands and then re-engage that abdominal wall and squeeze the ribs in. 
So if you feel like you have a bag of concrete over your midline here, and that's, none of that's going to move. Take a deep breath in and just roll your shoulders up off the mat. Just hang out. Pushing down, squeezing the ribs in. My legs are complaining a little. <laughs> Good. So you're going to lift, and then you're going to lower, and switch. Don't let your hips move. Gazing between the knees. Try to keep those shoulders up. chest up if you can. If your neck is getting tired, put it down. Take the arms out into a wide V and then bring your legs up tabletop. So I want your knees not close to your chest. I want them right above the hip bone. You should feel a little work there. Go ahead and roll the shoulders up again if you want. If not, keep them down. So you're going to bring the right knee in and then you're going to push it out. Bring it in, super slow, and then out. Don't let your hips move in, and out. One more. Now take the left armpit towards that right knee, and then push it out. Do it again. Now let's switch sides, so center up, regroup, other knee in, push it up, in, so check your hips. So ways to make this easier, put this leg down, take this leg up, ways to make it harder, take this leg up, and lower it down, okay? Armpit to kneecap. Almost done, you guys. Left hand. Bring your knees in. Kind of put your head down. Let your knees rock a little bit side to side. One more abdominal work exercise, and then we're going to stretch. So I'm going to take my arms out into this wide V. Belly is tight. I'm going to extend my legs up towards the ceiling, and then I'm going to turn them out at the hip. Should be kind of familiar to you now. We've done that a lot. I'm going to get my hands behind my head for support, but I'm going to start with my legs. So I'm going to lower them a little, and I'm going to pick them up. I'm using my abdominal wall. Notice I do not have to go all the way down and then all the way up. As soon as I feel like I don't have control, I'm going to stop and pause there, and then I'm going to pull them back up. I want to use my abdominal wall the entire time. Good. Go ahead. If you want, roll your shoulders off of the mat. If you don't want, that's perfectly fine as well. You should feel this in your low abdominal wall. Four. Three. Two. Last time. This is it. Bring the knees in and just relax. Arms are out to the side. Roll both knees to one side and then look away. I 
and then switch sides. Whichever kind of trunk rotation stretch you like will work out really well for you here. Center yourself up. Would not be one of my classes if we didn't do at least one roll up. So here we go, arms above the head, and you're just going to roll all the way up. Good. Scoot back a little bit, nice and tall. Reach for the toes, stretching the back of the legs. Nice and relaxed. Roll all the way up. Slide your heels together. Push your knees apart. Sit up as tall as you can. And then pitch forward if you need to to get a stretch of the hips. Sometimes I don't need to. I want this spine nice and long. Getting a good stretch of those hips. Go ahead and give me a nice straddle stretch here. So if you want to take the length of your mat, you can. Nice and tall. Deep breath in. Turn and reach for that toe. Make sure you leave that bum down. Good. Turn the ear towards the shin. And then walk yourself through the middle. Again, long spine, so shoulders back. Try not to curve out that spine. Get a clean stretch here. And then just go as far forward as you can. Walk to the other leg. Ear to shin. Center yourself up. And roll all the way up. Relax your legs, take in a deep breath. And blow it out. And one more time. I hope you guys had fun. I'm sure we'll see you here. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Samantha. It's more fun with you here. <laughs> we stayed six feet apart. Yes. <laughs>